Nature has a wealth of untapped energy resources. Bamboo has been recognized as a renewable source of energy. Bamboo, the fastest growing biomass can confidently be associated with the development of energy sector in India. There are two ways in which bamboo gives energy. First by conversion into charcoal and second by gasification into producer gas as a source of thermal or electrical energy. Any species of bamboo can be used for making charcoal. Bamboo waste does not go waste and the quality of charcoal is excellent. Its carbon content is 80 to 85 percent, ash 4.5 to 6.5 percent and calorific value around 7000 kilocalories per kg. The process of charcoal production involves heating the biomass with a controlled supply of air in specially designed charcoal kilns. The biomass is fed into the feeder unit and the kiln is sealed and fired. The several vents on the kiln control the reaction temperature. The charcoal production requires about 12 to 14 hours, 6 to 7 hours for the production and almost the same time for cooling the charcoal. Several methods and techniques of production are in practice. The traditional but the most popular method is known as the pit method which requires almost negligible investment and skill. Then there are kilns made of clay bricks. These dome-shaped kilns can be set up with nominal costs. Technology imports from China and Japan have helped us upgrade the quality of charcoal produced in India. However, these are expensive to install and operate. The NMBA has assisted in developing designs of better kilns to make high-quality charcoal in an efficient and reliable manner. A battery of such kilns has been set up in Nagaland. Charcoal kilns are viable economic activities in all areas where bamboo is a plenty. Bamboo charcoal is mainly used as fuel for cooking. It also finds use in purification of water as a deodorizer. Bamboo charcoal can be made into briquettes which find extensive use in barbecue and in hotels. These briquettes are made from pulverized bamboo charcoal mixed with a binder. It fetches good price as compared to normal charcoal. NMBA has supported four units for making briquettes which are in different stages of implementation. Further efforts are being made by NMBA to develop other bamboo charcoal products with bamboo charcoal tablets which have extensive use in the household as a deodorizer and moisture absorbent. Bamboo gasification is emerging as an excellent option for electrical applications and for different combinations of energy and byproducts. To rewind the sludge, we need furnace oil. So with the capacity of the rewinding plant, we need 30 kL of furnace oil daily. And with this bamboo gas plant, we can replenish 25% of the furnace oil. Power sector, earlier I told you, is one of the sector where you can convert the bamboo into electricity at a lowest cost and which is going to be carbon neutral power. Right. When you want to do that, either you can grow a total bamboo or a bamboo when you use it for other industry, there is a waste is available like this kind of a powder. This is a bamboo powder which is getting wasted in simple agar bati sticks when you make it something like 40 to 50 percent of the material is wasted only the rest goes as agar bati stick whether it's of agar bati stick making or flow making or uh, any other handicraft making we waste so much and all these powders now cannot be taken as such because the volume is more and now that could be converted into a nice excellent heavy brick and it's, it, it burns for more number of uh, uh, minutes and which makes it more useful for a gasifier or for combustion, total combustion. Bamboo based gasifiers have now been commercialized and are available in capacities ranging from 10 kilowatts to 1 megawatt. Use of this gasifier very much sir because uh, we can use this one and get 35, uh, 25 kBA power. Gasification is the process where the biomass is converted to energy by the reaction of the raw material with oxygen and steam. The biomass is fed to the reactor where it reacts with oxygen and steam in a high energy combustion reaction to yield the producer gas. 
the residue is settled in the conical multi-clone unit while the gas is passed through the combination of a cooling chamber and a water scrubber installed in multiple stages. Here, the gas temperature is brought down from 1300 degrees to 4 degrees. The gas is then treated at the purification unit and tested for quality at the pilot burner. This gas is then taken through the blower unit to the engine. There are dedicated control panels to monitor and control the temperatures and pressures within the reactor and other units. All of the bamboo waste produced in industrial applications finds use as a raw material for gasification. Besides electrical power, the thermal energy produced from bamboo finds use for dryers, kilns, furnaces and boilers. The NMBA has promoted a great deal of technical work on bamboo gasification in IIT Bombay and the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. The technical feasibility of using bamboo in biomass gasifiers has been tested and validated by the IIS Bangalore. Like any other biomass, uh, bamboo is also an excellent fuel for gasification except that maybe a slightly higher ash content which is uh, prevailing in some of the species of bamboo but it could be utilized as a fuel and it's a nice fuel because pre-processing is something which is easy to carry out. The NMBA has also pioneered the development and commercialization of bamboo gasification technology in India. Gasifiers up to one megawatt have been established and have proven uh, to be successful uh, on bamboo for both thermal energy as well as uh, electrical energy. Two one megawatt gasifiers have been set up at Kachor and Nagao units of Hindustan Paper Corporation in Assam and one 100 kilowatt gasifier at NBDA Nagaland. Further, nearly 20 gasifiers of ranges from 25 kilowatts to 500 kilowatts capacity have been established mainly in the northeastern region states and many are in pipeline. With technologies validated and opportunities identified, Bamboo Renewable Energy is all set to assume the role of a catalyst in rural and industrial development of India. A national level program can fill up a new life in these exciting sectors and lighten up our villages in the most natural way.